A nasty land dispute between neighbors in Kirby has led to multiple arrests. Now a lawsuit accuses the town police chief of violating the rights of a couple who owns property there. And this is just one um, giant mass of people against one small business owner. KSAT investigates Dylan Collier, shows us just how deep the rift has gotten. <laughs> It was 12.30 a.m. on February 13th when Nancy Pena appeared to reach her breaking point. Just minutes earlier, a group of men used bobcats to move a massive metal shipping container in front of the side exit of her insurance business. It came complete with a lewd message directed at Pena and her husband and joined a list of attempts to block access to the driveway that's included large piles of dirt, gravel, boulders, and blocks of limestone, a dispute that has increasingly escalated since January. At issue, whether customers of Pena's business can use a private roadway, specifically this section of Landis Drive, to enter and leave the property. Pena's neighbor Chad Coven, who lives at the end of Landis, has been the mastermind behind efforts to impede access. A vast majority of the time, the materials have been dumped in front of the property in the dead of night. He's just wanting to not have my customers come in and out from this side. Coven, who declined to be interviewed on camera for the story, did provide KSAT a 2021 permit for the Peñas to construct a mobile office on the property. It states that ingress and egress, the act of entering and exiting the property, would be off Ackerman Road, a public roadway. But this February email from Kirby City Attorney states the opposite that rights to enter and exit Landis Drive are extended to all adjoining properties, including the Pena's business. Two, I do not trust it you. doesn't matter. If you have a problem with it, you can call dispatch if you don't trust them either. What started as a civil dispute has attracted the attention of Kirby police time and again. I can't hear them from all the way over there. Well, you can be here. You, you're not, not doing anything. There. I got work to do. That's Chief Roxanne Cardona. Come on. On scene in mid-January, when Pena's husband was arrested for felony theft after he had an obstruction moved away from the gate. Prosecutors rejected the case in early March. Pena herself has been cited by Kirby PD over the ordeal for criminal trespass and theft and criminal mischief under $100. And was even booked into jail this month on a misdemeanor assault charge for the February shoving incident of one of Coven's family members. For whatever reason, if the Coven say jump, Chief Cardona asks how high. When Miss Pena asks them just to do their job, she just makes up excuses or will actively go the other way. Pena attorney C.J. Grisham filed a lawsuit in state district court in March claiming Cardona and another officer have violated the couple's constitutional rights, failed to properly investigate the dispute, and have not held both sides to the same standard. The suit also names Coven and members of his family. Grisham says he dropped a nearby landscaping company from the legal action after they recently reached a settlement with the Peñas out of court. But the disagreement rages on. Kirby police even hassled KSAT when we first tried to reach Coven for comment. Even if it is a private road, we were invited by the Peñas to be here. Okay, I, I understand that, but from the documentation that we've received, Let's see. it shows that I don't have it on me. Cardona has not responded to repeated requests to comment on the suit. How do we get your chief to respond to us? We've been emailing her That's going to be a question, about this. Okay. Sir, do you have any idea on you? Chief Cardona is uh, doing absolutely nothing about it. She's negligent in educating her officers. She's negligent in training her officers. She's negligent in seeking truth before going after my clients. Cardona has not been implicated in any professional misconduct. Hours after we visited the property at the center of the dispute, the Covens were at it again as a family member in broad daylight this time used a bobcat to place a boulder in front of the Pena's driveway. An attorney for Chad Coven telling KSAT in a statement, although the Peñas filed the original lawsuit, it is the Coven family who is being deprived of the use and enjoyment of their own property. They have been subjected to numerous threats, abuse, continued trespass, property damage, unlawful drone surveillance, harassment, 
and a loss of privacy, all while simply protecting their own private property rights. We are confident that the court will remedy the wrongs perpetrated against the Coven family and restore peace to their lives. For KSAT Investigates, I'm Dylan Collier. The attorney for Nancy Pena said his client wants nothing more than her rights to earn a living and that the Covens have interfered with those rights for years. Pena scheduled to be arraigned on the misdemeanor assault charge June 3rd. The lawsuit filed by her and her husband removed to federal court earlier this month. In response to the suit, Chief Cardona and the other officers have asserted qualified and official immunity two claims that could potentially protect the public servants from liability. In their original answer to the suit, Coven and his girlfriend filed a general denial of all of the allegations.